हेलो बायोटेक चैम्स हाउ आर यू होप यू आर डूइंग फाइन ओके सो माय नेम इज प्रद्युत बैनर्जी आई एम अ एकेडमिक स्पेशलिस्ट इन बायोफोमेटिक्स एट बायोटेक्निका लैब ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोना डिस्कस सम ऑफ द टूल्स दैट आर नीडेड फॉर योर सक्सेसफुल बायो इन्फोमेटिक्स करियर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू नो वाई इट इज असेंशियल नाउ डेज to have a insight about bioinformatics okay in the first place so uh, when you talk about mm, biotech sector the most booming sector in biotech nowadays is bioinformatics okay the reason being the use of computational procedures to fasten the process and accuracy as well so uh, the advantages we are going to discuss further uh, some of you might be aware of those and those who are not aware of will be taught in this class okay so that's not a problem so let's move on uh, so with our topic today that is tools for successful career in bioinformatics okay so first of all we need to know uh, what is bioinformatics okay so bioinformatics consists of uh, um, words like if you broke this bioinformatics into fragments we have bio informatics okay so bio stands for biology inform uh, uh, info stands for information technology ma for maths ti for statistics and cs for computational science okay or computer science okay so it is not the classic uh, definition of bioinformatics but uh, it gives more meaningful view that what bioinformatics is capable of and what we are dealing with in bioinformatics okay so bioinformatics uh, can be defined as the application of tools of computational and analysis to interpret biological data okay so in order to know about the tools first of all you need to know what are the tools that are essential for the biological data analysis okay so before moving on to the tools i'm going to discuss like the applications okay so what you're going to handle as a bioinformatician okay so uh, most of the time in biology we are dealing with either genomics or medical data isn't it so for that purpose we need to know like uh, what are the broad classification and examples of uh, bioinformatics field okay so first one is yeah so the field of application includes microbiome research okay drug discovery uh, next gen sequencing and then uh, we have the more advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning apart from that uh, python and r programming languages for interpretation of uh, large computational data and big data analysis apart from that uh, for from the biological pr- perspective we have uh, like immunoinformatics genomics analysis evolutionary evolutionary biology analysis um, and so on going okay so for a good career in bioinformatics you need to know certain tools that are capable of handling biological data and its interpretation in a better way okay so let's move on to some of the examples of the tools so here we have the tools okay so uh, first uh, being a researcher you must be interested in uh, literature um, search so the most widely used literature search tool is pubmed okay you can find it inside ncbi that is national center of biotechnology information okay uh, then we have uh, pubchem okay for uh, chemical structural data or uh, we uh, if you want to extract some chemical for our uh d- drug candidature okay further we have uh, for protein structure uh, we have protein structure databases like uh, protein information resource and uh, uniprot etc okay then uh, structural database i have listed uh, listed all the databases over here okay i am not gonna uh, linger upon each and every one with a particular emphasis but uh, here are the tools that uh, that i i will give you a, a brief overview of all these okay so first of all we have 
literature search uh, tools okay then we have uh, protein uh, databases then structural modeling is a very important aspect of uh, bioinformatics as if you want to design a new protein let's say that uh, covid mutation protein if you want to design okay so you can do that using uh, using tools that are capable of modeling okay so modeling can be of many types initially we have homology modeling or ab initio modeling now nowadays all those are uh, all those are being confined and refined further to uh, give us a more refined structure uh, by the use of ai and ml technology we have alpha fold for that okay so uh, then we have uh, in the drug biology we have uh, the docking tools okay admit analysis that is absorption uh, absorption distribution metabolism excretion and uh, toxicity tests okay after we are sure about uh, the docking uh, parameters then then we are gonna uh, move further to the simulation part so okay uh, in the simulation part that is molecular dynamic simulation uh, we test the protein or the protein ligand interaction for their stability in the real life environment uh, as the simulation means mimicking of a particular environment here we are mimicking the uh, biological environment that is happening inside us it includes the presence of water uh, like uh, certain forces okay and so on okay uh, after that we visualize our particular results in uh, visualization tools okay and uh, here in this visualization tools only we can process the image uh, like that uh, for uh, our publication purpose okay we can process it like that okay then we have yes so those are the uh, drug biology uh, databases and the tools for visualization but uh, when we initiate our career in bioinformatics we need to know about some of the uh, online available databases that are of use for every biologist if you are uh, not in the field of bioinformatics also you may need this tools of bioinformatics for your research to uh, flourish okay so uh, these database consist of like uh, first for first and foremost comes the primary databases okay so primary da databases are curated databases uh, like the basic databases uh, which uh, which have all the uh, data related to your genomic information uh, proteomics and all the omics uh, 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 data are stored there and from this particular databases i have listed uh, the name of the um, like primary databases those are ncbi ddbj and embl okay those are maintained by uh, other uh, like um, all other um, uh, big big uh, uh, firms in uh, biotech sector okay then uh, uh, from this particular primary databases uh, uh, we have the secondary databases those are curated databases from this uh, uh, primary databases okay so moving on to further the medicinal uh, plant databases and genomic databases so genomic databases are of much use for uh, genomic analysis and uh, for uh, developing uh, personalized medicine also we need the genomic information and that to a in a very specific manner okay and the expression of a particular gene in uh, in any type of uh, uh, tissue or cell that is capable uh, with uh, with the use of uh, genomic databases like uh, gene expression omnibus and gene ontology okay so yeah coming on to the uh, sequence alignment databases okay so first of all we have a uh, blast so blast is basic local alignment search tool so as the name suggests it uh, aligns uh, two sequence locally there are two type of alignment possible one is global and another one is local when you want to compare the whole sequence uh, side by side uh, you do the uh, global one and if you want to uh, like compare a chunk of it uh, then you do the local one okay so uh, for the and then we have multiple sequence alignments okay multiple sequences are aligned at once uh, for that we need tools such as cl uh, cluster w cluster omega muscle okay and after the after once the 
multiple sequence alignment is done we need to uh, construct a phylogenetic tree okay for that uh, we have phylip okay so coming on to the disease databases uh, the databases where we can uh, find about some of the disease and uh, the causative agent of that particular disease so for that we have omim and jivas and fivas okay so if you want to know uh, the relevance of a particular snp okay in a particular region also like if you want to like uh, know the relevance of a particular gene responsible for diabetes in africa you can know that using genome wide association studies okay likewise we have all other tools like for rna seq analysis we have fast qc trimomatic dissect 2 and all okay then uh, for AIML, uh, we have supervised learning, unsupervised learning, all type of learnings. Uh, then we have for programming language, we have BioPython libraries, R Studio libraries for better visualization of the data and representing it in a better way for the publication. And so uh, all of these um, uh, tools, we can uh, like uh, we are providing the uh, training of all those all these tools. Uh, in our lab that is uh, biotechnica okay but uh, we could have provided it for free okay some of uh, some of these trainings but when 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 you provide something for free now so people don't learn those uh, skill set they they are just uh, like uh, it is free okay so uh, so you have to bring your uh, skin uh, skin into the game okay so uh, so to learn a certain skill uh, and to pursue it as a career so you need to have a dedication and for that particular dedication if you invest uh, some uh, amount uh, so your dedication will be there and the focus will be, uh, will, will not be sip, uh, sifted somewhere else okay for that purpose i will invite you to join our uh, classes for further knowledge so that you can excel in your bioinformatics career yeah that's all from my side okay so this is pradeep banerjee signing off so thank you for your attention have a great day